so you guys i'm so excited because we are doing the floors we are getting ready to do the floors it's uh it's kind of cloudy out here actually here in new orleans we are expecting two storms at the same time this is not good. As we look at the latest advisories, you see Laura and Marco. This is what we are going to be dealing with. The possibilities for two landfall hurricanes 48 hours apart. Because if you guys remember 15 years ago, we experienced Hurricane Katrina. At least one levee has broken in New Orleans, leading to some localized flooding. But there could be far worse still to come. Hopefully it's nothing like that. It looks like we're not going to be able to get a lot of work done uh, this week in the van or the week coming up in the van. But uh, I don't know. Keep your fingers crossed, guys, because we are going to have some really bad weather. I've been getting a lot of questions and people are wanting to know how do we know what to do regarding the bill and I tell everyone we have just graduated from YouTube University so we feel confident enough in ourselves that we can come here and get the materials that we need as soon as we can make it while still getting a amount of insulation on there Okay, how many is this? Okay, well, okay, so I'm gonna need a base, so we should be good. So another package just arrived and a couple other things that we need. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, love. So wait, y'all rebuilding it. What you need? We are going to hold on, let me cut this off. So we're gonna convert it into a tiny home. So all this, let me show you. So this is gonna have like a bedroom in the back and a kitchen. They're gonna have a bathroom on this side. How? With the van? Yes, with the van. Oh, you're gonna be bringing a lot of packages over, so you'll get a chance to see Let's the see. progress. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, everybody. What's going on? Go if you saw our last video, we were uh, in uh, Home Depot and we're having some uh, wood selection issues, but we're going with the reflective uh, underneath the uh, the subfloor. Now I know that a lot of people do not agree <laughs> with using reflective. So what we're gonna do is put the reflective down, and then we're gonna put the subfloor that uh, came right. with the van back on top. And we're gonna use the same bolts to hold down the subfloor that already came with the uh, with the floor. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And uh, so, like I said, I know you guys are not gonna agree with the fact that we're using reflectives on the floor, but guess what? This is not your van bill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, but there are multiple ways in which you can do your floors. So when you decide that you want to get a van, then you can choose whatever way you want to do your floors. But what we're going to do is we're going with reflective.
Okay, so right now what we've done is we have uh, rolled it straight up the middle and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try and cut some pieces to go right there and fill in the side gaps. So we just laid the uh what's the called? Reflective. So we just laid the reflective down with Tanaj uh, she you saw her just spraying it and uh, now we're just going through like she said earlier and hit the little missing pieces. So guys, I think that we are just about finished with the floor. We were able to get the reflectives down. It's kind of like putting together a puzzle because once we got the middle down, we had to go back over the side, the edges, and actually create some more pieces to fill in the gaps. But uh, the stuff is pretty sticky. The adhesive that we were using was pretty sticky, but it works really well. This definitely feels like it's adhering to the floor. I think we did a pretty good job for our first time. I don't know, what do you guys think? We're getting ready to put the slough, sub right now we're getting ready to put the sub floor in which is basically that quarter inch plywood that came with it and uh, that way it'll push down on the uh, I always forget this stuff's name that way it'll push down on insulation and good little uh, pressure on it Torque wrench again, and the ratchet to anchor down the uh, tough floor. Okay, so <laughs> that was uh, 
that was the day's work. Right. Um, at first, we thought it was going to go by quick, which it, it, it kind of did with the uh, reflective uh, tape or the, I guess the reflective uh, insulation. But then when we got to actually putting in the subfloors and trying to get them both to line up and to line up in the holes, that became an issue. That was definitely an issue. So we had to take the floor up again and then slide back into the groove. Right. So that was very, very tedious. We're going to wrap it up because our battery is about to die, guys. Oh, and um, we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Deuces! So guys, what I'm doing is I'm trying to measure out where everything is basically gonna be. I have my layout. Now this is like my third or fourth layout that I've made since uh, the creation of this van life thing. And right now what I'm trying to do is just to, I'm trying to basically make sure that everything fits where I need it to fit. And it's looking promising. It's definitely looking promising. I have all my measurements for everything. I have um, the width of the bed, the height of the bed, the width and the length of the shower pan so i'm placing blue tape on the floor just to basically mark out everything so far i've only gotten to the platform bed and the uh, and the shower pan of the bathroom now i did find out some interesting information today regard regarding the bathroom i'll share that with you guys in the field but right now i am going to finish measuring um measuring for my tiny space Deuces. Sorry. <gasps> Got my insulation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I said I got my insulation. So the insulation has just come. It was actually supposed to be on back order and not get here until early next week. So I'm super duper excited about that. Yeah, it's all foggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, so what's up? So one of the things that uh, we also changing are these emblems uh, that actually were missing, and uh, let's see what it uh, what it involves. So we're using a torque screwdriver, torque twenty five, to take off the emblem off the back. Grab that one. It don't matter. It's gonna fall. So here it is you guys, I ordered the, uh, the Mercedes emblem and the Mercedes grill. I actually ordered those pieces from Sprinter Deport and the delivery came pretty fast. I think it may have taken about two days, which is amazing because everything that I've been ordering so far has been on back order. That's why we can't get the windows done. emblem is on the back yeah she is sporty now we just have to put the grill on the front so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these little pegs this should be easy we had one that was giving us a hard time and didn't want to break it that was this one right here but it looks fine So the grill that I ordered from Sprinter Depot came in two parts. We have the black grill itself and then there is this box. And inside of this box we find the silver Mercedes emblem. Hey guys, so if you, uh, what I just did was just replace the grill. Um, it was fairly easy. They got these tabs that you just pull out. And uh, don't be afraid to, to uh, yank on them because it's a little stubborn. And also down here at the bottom, 
it really got stuck really bad. Once again, just don't be afraid to yank on it and uh, it'll come out. But be careful though, it's still made out of plastic. Right up in here, you gotta separate this metal from the grill. I have a couple of loose spots. And there you have it, that's how you change out the grill. And there it is, there's the after you guys. So you saw the before and the after and I think I am much more in love with the outcome. So if you want to change your grill out, um, I suggest that you go with Sprinter Depot. Now we tried a lot of other places, but Sprinter Depot had the best reviews and absolutely the best prices. So give them a try.